That's a very interesting question. Uh, and uh, as you probably heard this morning at my lecture, we had uh, many times, um, I was, many times I was, I was uh, considering completely closing the film down because everything was so difficult. The main character was difficult and then afterwards the uh, editing were difficult and there were so many difficulty, uh, difficulties. Um, but the thing is that um, it's also like a snowball rolling and the minute you start financing uh, you really have to be very careful before you close something down because people actually put some money into it and if you have started spending this, this money uh, you also have to deliver something. So at one point you will actually find yourself rather stuck and there's no way back. Um, uh, which was ob obviously the case for me when, when we went into the editing um, and I was uh, feel, I felt I, I saw a Titanic sink. And, um, but, but in fact there were no way back at, at that point. It's, um, if you have a, a very good story, I would definitely start by finding your local commissioning editor and, and try to have a meeting with this person and, you know, just have a coffee, tell them quiet and easy about your project and find out if, it's, uh, if, it, if there's something there, do they find it interesting. That's always the best place to start in your local area. So, because also if you um, if you you don't do not have your local broadcast on board, it's very difficult actually to go outside your country, because if not even your local broadcaster believes in the project, it's difficult to convince others. So that's always the starting point. And then I would say listen to all the advice you get, listen to the critics you get from from the commissioning editors. See if you can improve your project from time to time um, and uh, make it stronger and stronger. Um, also in your sales material, yeah. the, the trailer and, and if you do a flyer and stuff like that. Make it strong and clear what you want to do and how you want to do it. Um, I think it's difficult to say. Uh, one thing that will definitely change is that you don't need a certain length of the things you do. You don't need to have it 52 minutes and you don't need to have 80 minutes or 90 minutes. Or The films can actually have the duration you really want them to have. I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is that uh, with the, all the video platforms, um, it looks like you could uh, make a better business for yourself. But in reality, I, I don't think that uh, that's going to happen, not right away. When somebody wants a video on demand uh, uh, rights, uh, there's going to be a competition for this. So if you hook up with a broadcaster, I think in the future, in the future they will go for these rights also, and we can feel it already now. So I don't know if it's going to change that much business-wise. But of course, it's, uh, it opens up to more audience mm -hmm. um, and uh, less and less people are watching TV. Making things up. Mm -hmm. We're not uh, telling uh, things that's, that aren't true. But in the same way, we use all the tools from, from fiction in order to tell the story. So, uh, which means that we work very much with the character, uh, as, as I tried to explain today in the presentation. Um, we are very much aware about uh, the character and where we want her to go, and we are aware about her um, antagonists and her helper and stuff like that. So in that terms, we will use actually a lot of, uh, a lot of tools from fiction. But I don't think that it's blurring. I don't think so. If I look back on what I did myself when I was directing, I was very much attached to the characters. Very much. 
And in fact, it, I can see that Lisa also is a, she doesn't have that frequent contact with Marcia, but once in a while they still talk. But she has uh, contact with Oleg, um, and uh, I think that will go on for many, many years. So uh, when you become a part of people's life, uh, they also become part of your life. Uh, and uh, I tend to say forever, um, maybe it's not always like that, but at least you should, uh, you should expect it to be like that. I started out as a journalist, um, your age, I guess, um, and uh, and uh, well, I've spent a lot of years. I've been doing radio. I've been doing news reports. I've, done, I've been a, a documentary director in house in DRTV in Denmark myself. Um, and then I I had the opportunity to go outside DRTV and become a producer. 